talking to your kids about money matters is the best way to set them up for financial success in the future. A new survey reveals 70% of parents realize this and have already started the conversation. Importantly, families are having that conversation about money as it pertains to today. 62% of families are talking about things like going to the grocery store and buying something on sale versus buying something that's regular price. That's really important. But also 66% of families are having the conversation in the context of the future, why savings is important and opening up savings accounts. A combination of having the conversation about today coupled with the conversation about the future is really what's going to enable us to raise money savvy adults. If you're not teaching your kids about money, here are some tips for getting started. We have data that shows that children as young as five years old are able to process conversations about money. So start early. Have the conversation in context of everyday real life decisions because that's what helps children learn and help them put that great advice you're giving them into practice. So for example, at Chase, we offer our parents access to a tool called Chase First Banking, which is a bank account and debit card for their kids. And with it, children are able to deposit their allowance into their bank account and watch their savings account grow. With it, they're able to swipe their debit card at a retailer or buy something online with that debit card, and they're able to see the impact that has on their bank account. The ability to put the great lessons you're teaching them into practice is one of the best ways to help children really internalize those lessons and learn from them. And there's no time like now. The holidays are the perfect context because every conversation is about giving and getting and children are spending during this season. So they might be on winter break in the coming weeks and saying, oh, I want to go to the movies and I want to go to the amusement park and I want to do these three other things. Well, that's the perfect time to have the conversation with them that each of these things cost money. You have to make a trade off between which ones you want to do and then let them put into practice actually choosing which of the activities they want to spend their time and importantly, their money on. Get more info at chase.com slash financial goals.